guys, Brittany here. I am here with the creator of the new show, Upcoming Hamster and Gretel, along with Melly, who's going to be playing Gretel. How are you guys doing today? Oh, we're doing great. I'm doing good. This is your debut, right, into voice acting? Well, I did like temp lines for my dad's friends when they were working on their pilots, but this is my first time having a real role. Are you excited? What? Very, very. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't finish my question. Oh, what is one aspect about Gretel that, from yourself, that you wanted to put into this character? She's very hyper and energetic, and she talks super fast. And I have uh, ADHD, so I talk really fast. I'm trying to slow it down while I'm talking to other people so I don't stumble so much. But she, when I do her voice, I just talk a little bit higher, and I just sound like I'm excited about everything. And that's she reminds me of myself. That's beautiful. And then when you were coming up with this concept, why Hamster and Gretel? Like, it's the, in the same universe as Phineas and Ferb, right? Yeah. It's the same universe. It's sort of like a city of away from, from Phineas and Ferb, but that way if we ever want to do a cr crossover we can. But it's also just sort of what exists in my, in, in my mind. And I had just drawn a picture of a superhero hamster and loved it. And it, you know, it's like I'm, I'm constantly doodling when we were actually writing the Phineas movie. And, and I had like, like 50, you know, like drawings I had done. This drawing just kept coming back to me. And, uh, and so I started thinking about what I could do with that character. And uh, we had we had a PA on uh, on staff named Greta. Somebody said, "Oh, you should you should have put Greta in it because then it would be Hamster and Greta," which I thought was funny. But because both both words were separated from Hamster from Hansel and Gretel, which I think we get a little bit of uh, you know the the familiarity of that is nice. I made it Gretel, and then I was like, "Oh, I should just sort of base it on Melly." you know, from a couple of years back. And uh, and then she did temp voices for me when I was putting it together. And then everybody sort of like liked that voice. I liked that voice, they liked that voice. So we kept her in through the, the testing and that character tested like all tens. And we were like, Maybe, maybe this is our Gretel. Yeah, that was amazing. So what she has my sense of humor. So when I write something, she says it the way I would want it said, which helps. That's awesome. What's something that you're excited for audiences to see from Gretel and Hamster, of course? Like something specific or just... Yeah. Um... Oh God, it's I haven't recorded for a little while. Um, there's a lot of fun uh, supervillains that we get to fight. Like there's this one where it's a giant otter, and the problem is that everyone like I don't want to fight the otter because it's too cute, and we sing a whole song about how it's too cute to to clobber. I felt that immediately. I love otters. And one question I did have for you: there was a, something I read that it was important to you to include a Venezuelan uh, uh, representation into this series. And and how important that was was that for you? Because this show is the sixth show on Disney Channel to have that, and it's the second animated, I believe. Yeah. Well, my wife is from Venezuela, so we have like a blended family at home, and I sort of wanted to represent our family the the the, the way it is. So, so the mom and dad look like me and my wife, and the wife in the show is Venezuelan, and we got, we got somebody to sort of play her. And it's sort of a, a cross between my wife and my story editor's mother, who is also Venezuelan. And that, and uh, to me, it's, it's just sort of like, well, let's let me just write what I know. These, are the, the, this is sort of our our situation. I think it'd be nice to show that kind of a blended family. Beautiful. Any final thoughts that you're excited that both of you guys are excited for the audience to see? I'm just really excited for them to see. We've been working on it for like two years now, and uh, and just like it's premiering in a month, so, you know, a little less than a month now. I think it's like about three weeks, and uh, and I'm just so thrilled for people to actually see it finished and stuff. Because for you're working in animation, there's so such a, a lag time between you writing. It's like ten months before you have a, a, like one show done, and uh, and now we have a slew of them done, and we can we can actually get it out there and now it, it'll no longer feel like we're just entertaining ourselves beautiful beautiful and i do have to make a request okay. can you please say uh in the dude from smart's voice like thank you for watching brit smash on youtube brit, Sm what? brit smash on youtube brit smash. uh thank you for watching brit smash on youtube this is dr heinz doofenshmirtz from <laughs> doofenshmirtz evil incorporated i have my own jingle here you may have heard of me Thank you so much. And one last question for you, my love. Um, if there's a dynamic that you love the most about recording with Gretel and Kevin, are there any like factors that you wanted to incorporate for that that you wanted to bring into the voice animation? 
like, I don't understand the question. Sorry, let me rephrase. The dynamic between Kevin and Gretel, what was one thing that you were excited about to bring into that? Um, the, it was based on my dad and his younger sister, because they're like 10 years apart, and uh, all I have is an older sister, and we, like, only by two years. So it felt kind of cool to have, like, feeling like I had an older brother because I have a bunch of older cousins and when they came over we would pretend that they were my brothers when we went out like to the mall they'd be like oh my older brother is is taking me to the to the restaurant or something and it was really exciting because I I really like Michael Cimino he was in Love Victor which I loved and he plays my older brother so it was really awesome to work with him beautiful well thank you guys so much and we're excited to watch Hamster and Gretel see you guys next time Thank you guys so much. Lovely sure. meeting you guys. Absolutely. And Love great success at the show. Right. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay, mine too. Guys, hurry, get in. Oh, uh, Kevin, we've got this. Robot Punch! Watch Hamster and Gretel on Disney Channel. I bet I'm indestructible. We are not testing that out.